Hello everyone, this is Fred. Today I'm going to show you how to use Obsidian and Zotero together. Basically, this is how I organize my research papers. Okay, so let's dive in. First of all, we can talk about what is Zotero. It's a really great software that can help researchers, students to organize their PDF files and also other reference sources. It has the 30 MB capacity for the free version. I won't talk about it too much here because there are plenty of great YouTube videos made by others. I will focus on the workflow between Obsidian and Zotero. Before we start, you have to download one plugin in Obsidian and two plugins in, Zot uh, in Zotero. We'll focus on Zotero plugin first. First of all, you have to go online and search extensions for Zotero. Okay, I already linked here, so you'll find the this website, plugins for Zotero. And uh, go down. You can search Zot. Okay, Zotero folder import and Zot file. This two. After download these two plugins to your uh, local files, you go back to Zotero and then go to Tools to find the add-ons. You see your extensions here. By clicking all the add-ons and install add-ons from file. And uh, you will see this folder import from Zotero and Zot file after you import these two extensions. After import it, import them, you have to restart your Zotero software. Okay, and you can go here to check again tools, add-ons to see whether it's inside your extensions or not okay then we go back to the obsidian sorry still we go to the settings and community plugins and uh, go to browse to find the citation plugin here you can download it and uh, you have to um, Enable it here first. After you enable it, go to the options. Okay, the first setting you have to do is to um, select the citation database path. You have to cite uh, pass to citation library exported by your reference ma manager. I set my library location here. My library, my library. Okay, you have to match so that Obsidians can find your library documents. Then we go down. You see all the template settings. These settings are for the informations you want to show after you import the reference from Zotero okay here are the rules and uh, you can organize the literature note content templates here okay I'll show you the results later and this is my arrangement so you also can have the different headings inside your templates okay so you can see the year the author and the, the select URL for the Zotero files. DOI, page, place, event place, and abstracts, and also the notes. Okay, I didn't change other settings, so we can close it first. Okay, then we go back to Zotero. Uh, I choose these two PDF as an example. Okay, 
so double click it uh, you can read the PDF here I already have some highlights here uh, you can see the highlights will show up in the left panel also and the other one I also have some highlights here okay go back um, because we already installed the extensions the plugins now we can right click and add notes from an annotations and also here the notes from annotations now you can see the annotations here okay this um, I don't want just delete it okay you can see some annotations here annotations here okay you can take um, as much highlights you want okay let me do another one just randomly choose okay and uh, I have to do it again okay and I'll delete the original one okay after doing this uh, taking notes from the tarot I'll go back to obsidian and uh, I'll just start a new file called reading okay don't want the metadata here okay this is my notes okay and now I will call up the command panel and uh, use citation and insert literature note content in the current pane okay now I'll choose the case for widely okay what the variable acoustics and press enter okay now you can see uh, the data already be grabbed into obsidian um, the title here in the heading one format and the author heading two format here and uh, C in Zotero actually can have the linkage to the Zotero file Zotero library you will just help me to quickly find where this file is in my library okay and um, some other informations I use in the heading 5 format and the abstract already grabbed for me and also the notes we just created it in the PDF yeah we can try one time one more time oops okay so go to the bottom and uh, call up the command panel again citation okay insert literature note content in the current pane and I will choose oh which one I already forget <laughs> um the acoustic design of the new national okay the acoustic design of the new national opera house of Greece okay yeah you also got the notations so you have two papers being inserted into your obsidian f notes if you want less information you can change the templates from your citation settings i'll show you again here um yeah you can change here literature note content templates you can design your own templates here okay basically this is um today's video 
but you might ask me one questions that is um, is it possible to import citation and bibliography I have to say uh, I don't know how to use it in Zotero or in Obsidian but I know you can use Alfred workflow if you are using Mac system you can use Alfred to do this first of all you have to download the Zot hero workflow um, and then connect to your Zotero library too through the settings which I will set, uh, show you here and you have the effect like this okay this is um, your note file and then call out the um, Alfred comment and uh, call out Zot hero okay and uh, uh, I will say it's the case for it's a little bit lag. Okay. In case for likely, and press um, command and press enter. Okay. And paste so you can get the citation here and also you can use it for your bibliography so tarot and um, the case for by pressing the alt you can copy bibliography <laughs> i think i choose the wrong one oh okay it's the right one yeah so you got the bibliography and uh, you can actually I will do this I will copy all everything in my uh, notes and uh, maybe my essay my paper in the paste here but I will re uh, recite again in my note file uh, I will delete it and add citation here again so it will automatically link the bibliography and the citation in the work file yeah I still don't know how to um, use Zot hero and auto connect to the bibliography yeah so basically this is how my workflow works thank you very much and uh, see you next time